I'm going to talk about reliability and validity. I'm first going to give you a general example and then one that's more specific. So when we're talking about something reliable, let's take a look at this target. And say I had a paintball gun and I had a red paintball gun that shot red, red little paintballs. And when I shot it, it always got little red shots in this area. So it was reliable actually. It's reliably got, I could count on it to shoot red paintballs in this area. Now what I would like is a paintball gun that actually got right in the bullseye because I get more points for that. And so if I looked at this green paintball gun, it's reliable because it's always shooting in this air area and it's valid or we could say accurate. It shoots exactly where it's supposed to shoot. Not out here, but here. All right, so reliable means that you get these clumps and valid means that you actually have accurate clumps. All right, so let's get a specific example. Okay, so here's my situation. I am looking to develop a measure and that's usually what we look at when we're talking about reliability and validity and I want a reliable and a valid measure and I want to predict success in our MED program and I have three little scales or three item scales the first one's personal qualities the second one's high school success and the third one is university success and here's my personalities uh, qual personal quality scale I looked at whether I asked someone about attractive, being attractive, whether they like jazz music, and their eye color. And so I measured that and I also asked them their high school calculus grade, physics grade, and data management grade. And I asked them or rated their writing school at university, their graduate record exam results at standardized scale and their fourth year university average all right so these are my three little scales and i add up and i get a little score and i see how that predicts their grades at the end now the first test that i would want to do is a reliability test i want to make sure that i've said these are personal qualities that they clump together that they correlate with each other that they, if I was a paintball analogy, they would all shoot in the same area or about the same area. And I use this internal reliability coefficient. And if, if they were, if they did stick together, it would be one or somewhere between 0.8 and one. But here it's 0.23. They don't stick together. So whether someone's attractive really is no relationship to whether they like jazz music or their eye color. So I'd probably have to revise my scale. It's not very good at measuring what I'm calling personal qualities. It's not, I can't look at them as a whole because normally what I would do is do a calculate a total score for this, a total score for this, and a total score for that, and then say it measures personal qualities. But I can't do that if, if the reliability is 0.23 because these things actually aren't correlated with each other and they seem to measure kind of different things. Let's look at high school success. Well, the correlation here is 0.95. So someone's high school calculus score, their physics score, and their data management grade correlate fairly high with each other. So someone who has a high calculus grade and a high physics grade and a high data management grade, well, they tend to stick together. And someone who has low, low grades in those, they tend to stick together. So in fact, really high, 0.95, all right? So that's what we're saying when it's reliable, that these low scores stick with low scores and high scores stick with high scores. And if you look at university success in these particular character characteristics is 0.90. So we would say that these ones are actually quite reliable. But are they valid? Do they, in this case, is predictive validity. And I don't want to confuse you, but there are different types of validity. But we're just going to look at predictive validity. Do these qualities, when they clump them together, take a total score, correlate with 
uh, final grades in the MED program. And if you look at it, 0.15. That's a pretty small correlation. It can range from, well, it can range from negative 1 to 1. But in this case, it's 0.15, and that's considered pretty, uh, pretty small. And NS means not significant, so it's not a significant relationship. Same thing with high school success, a little bit better, 0.25 but it's not significant. It doesn't significantly, when you add these scores up, and you get a total score and you correlate it with uh, grades, total uh, average grade in the MED program, is, the correlation is weak, it's not significant. However, if we look at writing skill, GRE results, and fourth year university average, and we get a total score for that, and we correlate it with uh, average grades in the MED program, it's 0.54. It's not huge, but that's actually pretty big in education. That's very big. And the chances that this result is not significant is uh, really, really small. When you see a p-value, what that means is that this is a significant relationship. And so we would say that university success has some predictive validity. But let's take a look at a visual just to kind of uh, cap this off. So we have the personal qualities thing. So what does that look like in a visual? Just a second. Well, in this case, it's not reliable. Look, it's, it's here, it's here, it's here. They don't stick together, the, the three items in that scale. And they don't get anywhere near to the center, which we would call predicting uh, average grades in the MED program. So we could say that these red marks here, which were personal qualities, are neither reliable nor valid. Let's take a look at the blue ones. 0.95, so that's reliable, but it's not valid. Well, here we are. It's not really close to the center. It's getting closer than these guys. Uh, but it is reliable. Look, look how close they are. So they correlate. These little guys correlate well. Um, they, they uh, stick together well, uh, but they don't hit the target. And then if you talk about university success, well, it's both reliable and it has predictive validity. And look, we have, it sticks together, so it's reliable, and it's very close to predicting what we want it to predict, which is, in this case, average grades in the MA program. So this uh, university success predict success at the graduate level, which is not surprising. So that is a summary of reliability and validity.